Though we feel adrift, God will not let go. Though we see no light, God's light always shines. Though we feel quite lost, God will show the way. Though we feel despair, God's hope is still there. When quite overwhelmed, God's love will bring healing and peace. Now we're going to listen to a reading from Psalm 107. Psalm 107. Some went down to the sea in ships, doing business on the mighty waters. They saw the deeds of the Lord, his wondrous works in the deep. For he commanded and raised the stormy wind, which lifted up the waves of the sea. They mounted up to heaven. They went down to the depths. Their courage melted away in their calamity. They reeled and staggered like drunkards and were at their wit's end. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he brought them out from their distress. He made the storm be still, and the waves of the sea were hushed. Then were they glad, because they had quiet, and he brought them to their desired haven. Let them thank the Lord for his steadfast love, for his wonderful works to humankind. Let them extol him in the congregation of the people, and praise him in the assembly of the elders. And so now we respond to those words together. So if you want to at home, please join in with the words in yellow. They mounted up to the heavens and went down to the depths. In their peril, their courage melted away. Our journey of grief so often goes from highs to lows. We pray that our courage will not melt away when we find the going hard and that we will grow in hope when the moments feel a little easier. They reeled, they cried out to the Lord in their troubles and he brought them out of their distress. Lord, when we are full of troubles and distress, we pray we will turn to you to guide us from darkness to light. He stilled the storm to a whisper. The waves of the sea were hushed. Lord, we pray our journey of uncertainties will be stilled and we will find a place to rest. Be still and find your peace. Amen. And so now we have a reading from scripture, from Mark's Gospel. On that day, when evening had come, Jesus said to them, Let us go across to the other side. And leaving the crowd behind, they took him with them in the boat, just as he was. Other boats were with him. A great gale arose and the waves beat into the boat so that the boat was already being swamped. But he was in the stern, asleep on the cushion, and they woke him up and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. Then the wind ceased and there was a dead calm. He said to them, Why are you afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great awe and said to one another, Who then is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? I'm going to share um, a, a song that we often sing at Clown Church. Um, some of you will be familiar with it, so if you do know it, you can sing at home. This is just an instrumental video, uh, but the words will come up on the screen. 
and it's called Calm Me Lord as you calmed the storm. So you will have noticed this evening that we have a bit of a theme for our service and it's the theme of the sea. And I find that the sea is the perfect metaphor for grief. The sea is changeable. Um, it can be beautiful and amazing and it can be overwhelming and terrifying and it creeps up on you when you least expect it and grief is exactly like that anyone of you who has lost a loved one will know that that you can be feeling fine and then one song will come on the radio or you will spot a pair of old slippers or smell a familiar smell and it all comes flooding back again that grief and so i'm going to read to you um, a poem that i find very helpful personally but i also often share it with bereaved people and it's called The Sea and the Beach by Tessa Wilkinson. And in fact, Tessa Wilkinson, who wrote this poem, um, also wrote much of the liturgy that we're using this evening. The Sea and the Beach. The sea seems to illustrate pain and sorrow so well. It comes in and goes out. For a while it is there, overwhelming, covering everything. Then slowly the tide turns and it withdraws. For a while we can see the beauty of the shells, the seaweed. We can rejoice in the patterns in the sand. We can feel the corrugated ripples under our feet, alive to what is around and beyond. But then the tide turns and again it is all washed away, all overwhelmed. We feel like the crashing of the waves on rocks, raw and out of control, full of anger and rage, battered and bruised, tossed about like flotsam floating wherever we are thrown. There are so many questions. Why now? Why him? Why her? But no answers. Then the sea calms and gently the waves lap the rocks. We are soothed and the inner turmoil is calmed. 
In time, we can learn to move up the beach as the tide comes in, out of its reach, not to be overwhelmed. The pain is still there, but in control. We can recognise the pain, revisiting the sadness, acknowledging how much the person is missed. We learn to turn away and look to the future, knowing the person will always be part of us, always loved and always remembered. So now we come to the point in the service where we will light our candles. Uh, so I'm just going to do mine. So while I'm lighting my candle, you may wish to light yours. And this is to represent quite a number of people that I'm thinking of. I've lost quite a few close friends and loved ones this year. It's been a rotten year, isn't it, for many of us? And so many lost, of course, to COVID as well. And so we think of those that we aren't going to name tonight who um, have died in this last year as well, and particularly thinking of those that have died of, of COVID-19. But here's my, my candle lit here. Uh, so you light your candle at home, you might have more than one, um, and put them somewhere where you can watch the flame flicker and remember today. So again, at home you may wish to join in with the words in yellow. Blessed are you, Lord our God, lover of souls. You uphold us in life and sustain us in death. To you be glory and praise for ever. For as the darkness of this age is passing away, as Christ the bright morning star brings to his saints the light of life. As you give light to those in darkness who walk in the shadow of death, so remember in your kingdom your faithful servants, that death may be for them the gate of life and to unending fellowship with you, where with your saints you live and reign, one in the perfect union of love, now and forever. Amen. And so we are coming to the part of the service where I will read a very long list of names, each one precious and known by God, and of course very precious to their families as well. If you would like a name to be read, um, you can write it in the comments and I will do my best to read it out. Uh, or you may wish to just say the names of your loved ones uh, when we come to that. Also, um, a nice way to engage with this part of the service is you might like to use the heart emoji or the little thumbs up when you hear names that you know um, to show that you're remembering them and we can and we can see those hearts floating up the screen um, as we as we watch on Facebook. Lord we give you thanks for those we remember before you now, for all that they gave and received, the experiences we shared with them. Continue, we pray, to hold them in your eternal embrace. Roger Elsie, Ina Hill, Barry Dethick, Helen Elizabeth Linacre, Mary Goldstraw, William Whisker, Margaret White, Wendy Wilde, David Hill, Sylvia Emily Wapplington, Kenneth Albans, Susan Dunnin, Margaret Anne Cochrane, Anthony Harry Kane, 
Margaret June Hendry, Margaret Rose Tomlinson, Kay Mason, Patricia Margaret Smalley, Joan Buxton, Patrick Elmore, Kathleen Rose Miller, Hazel Harrington, Carol Sims, Hugh Clark, Clifford Greasley, Valerie Margaret Renshaw, James and Edith Miller, Robert and Mary Blackwell, Sir David Ames, Emily Wilson, Jean and Vic Reynolds, Betty and Alf Dring, John Ellis Wybrow, Ruth Wybrow, William and Ethel Dickinson, Reverend David Hull, Michael Tewkesbury, Baby Walter Kit Lockwood, Peter White, Andrew White, Carol Bartley, Enos Bartley, Iris Bartley, Gillian Proctor, Dorothy Leadbeater, Beatrice Atkinson, Philip Cresswick, Irene May German, Lorna Riley, Jesse Wade. Gordon Goodwin, Sally Haddon, Edith and Albert Hindley, Frank Hindley, Bill Betts, Doris and Fred Stamper, Arthur and Nora Newton, Etty Stockdale, Howard Stockdale, Arthur and Annie Braddo, Sydney and Lillian Wignall, Carol Clark, Edith Annie Hindley, Denise Cunningham, Phoebe Webb, Lydia Gladwin, Geoffrey Ainsworth, Kitty Ainsworth, John Jeffries, Simon Elliott, Lorraine Hornshaw, Stuart Wustenholm, Neville Sturman, Audrey Ainsworth, Geoffrey Fletcher, Alan Godbert, Ron Hazelhurst, Tom Elizabeth and Bernard Rose, Marina Fairburn Wood, Brenda Norman, Frank and Edna Dring, Ethel and Arthur Smith, Michael Smith, Dennis Malpass, Sydney and Mary Emerton, Frank Butler, Joan Bradley, Andre Bradley, Christopher Beale, Margaret and Jeff Wright, Ivy and Jim Waller, Joan Lacey, Marilyn Jackson, Libby Hadfield, Clara Davidson, George Richard Davidson, Olive Malpass, James William Malpass, Doris Nicholl, Harold Nicholl, John Quinn, Esme and Frank Straw, Joseph Doolan, Norman Charles Rom, Jack Flowers, Kate Flowers, George and Lucy Lemons, Philip and Marjorie Morton, Sheila Street, Anne Bagshaw, Josephine Leavesley, Harry Leavesley, Beatrice Towner, Harry Towner, Charles Towner, Christopher Towner, Paul Towner, Philip Towner, Stan and Doris Lewis, Jill Lewis, Leslie Eep Wetherill, Rita Wetherill, Annie Wetherill, Anne Folks, Wilfred Mosley, Ivy Mosley, Brian Mosley, Tony Mosley, Pamela Rundle, Rex Keith Blakemore, Ethel Hadfield, John Hall, Joanna Bacon, Stephen Webster, Raymond Dawson, Richard Evans, Priest, Cyril and Olga Elcock, Jean Davis, Jeff Collins, Joan Bradley, Cyril and Frieda Brad Bradbury, Fred Partlett, Neville Elcock, Ian Brown, Brian Hine, Sheila Crump, William Frederick Bevel, Jackie Burns, David Booth, Priest, David Eller, Priest, George Correa, Christine Hall, 
Bernard Hall, Robert Butler, Rita Butler, Tony Taylor, Kate Taylor, Sue Pinnington, Priest, Bex Lewis, Barry Jones, Audrey Florence Wilkinson, Adrian Wilkinson, Linda and Roy Smith, May Wilkinson, Malcolm Coleman, Jane and David Stothard, Andrew and Danny, Anthony Tobin, Brenda Burton, Patricia Robotham Chaplin, Mary Flack, Richard Staniforth, Christopher Staniforth, Annie Staniforth, Violet, Herbert and Reginald Cook, Thelma Cook, Laura Webb, Eric Webb, Bob Staniforth, Albert Staniforth, Courtney Staniforth, Robert Cochrane, Sidney Patrick, Joseph Barry Skelton, Gwyneth Speed, Harry Smith, Ronald Bond, Jean Valerie Westley, June Marshall, Mary Wardle Bristow, Carol Bartley, Lee Smithurst, Sandra Smithurst, Charlotte Milner, Audrey Winifred Freer, Joseph Robert Barlow, Hayden Barlow, Mavis Johns, Alice Metcalf, Sheila Dixon, Iris Pettit, Margaret Elizabeth Wilders, Edith Lillian Smith, Ruth Smith, Francis William Richards, known as Bill, Pearl Klimzak, Irene Smith, David Wormsley Horton, John Lindley, Morris Ambler, Vincent Roy Moody, Mary Ward, Michael Thornton, and Eileen Wright. There are many more names we could mention. God knows them all. God knows how we're feeling as we remember them. And he is with us. And so we continue in prayer. Grant us grace to entrust all these souls to your never failing love which sustains them in this life. Enfold them in the arms of your mercy and remember them according to the favour you bear for your people. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Grant to us who are still in our pilgrimage and who walk as yet by faith, that your Holy Spirit may lead us in holiness and righteousness all our days. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. May we have strength to meet the days ahead in the joyful expectation of eternal life with those we love. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And so trusting in the promises of God, we say together the prayer Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. And so together, let's affirm our trust and hope. We trust that beyond absence, there is presence. That beyond the pain, 
there can be healing that beyond the brokenness there can be wholeness that beyond the anger they may be peace that beyond the hurting they there may be forgiveness that beyond the silence there may be the word that beyond the word there may be understanding that through understanding there is love And so, would you like to bow your heads to receive God's blessing? Deep peace of the running wave to you. Deep peace of the flowing air to you. Deep peace of the quiet earth to you. Deep peace of the shining stars to you. Deep peace of the gentle night to you. Moon and stars pour their healing light on you. Deep peace of Christ, of Christ the light of the world to you. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you and those whom you love this day and always. Amen. And so... Let us go from this out into the world, blessed by this time together. And let us know God's love with us. I'm going to finish this time together by playing you a recording made on Sunday of our choir at St James's singing in Paradisum from Foray's Requiem. The words will come up that they are singing on the screen and there's an English translation of the Latin words that they are singing. And so this will form the end of the service. Thank you for joining us.